Hi, today we'll start off with a short test clip. I'll need to test an idea how to alleviate the Spark video transfer problems. So what's this all about? Continue watching. Hi guys. Today I'll talk about one of the pain in the ass problems of DJI Spark that probably many of you have and that's transferring files from our little guy here to the cell phone. As you've probably seen from the recent footage, I've been flying around quite a bit, but I've been doing that on the road and trying to transfer the files directly to my phone to be able to upload them to YouTube. The problem is, as you probably have experienced it many times, the transfers get broken and to download a couple one minute clips it took me well over an hour with a constant re-upload, not re-uploads, re-downloads because the application then it's a transfer problem. Do you want to restart the transfer? Fortunately it restarts from a point where it finished as opposed to the paired drone where the transfer starts from the beginning. Although with a paired drone those transfer problems are not as frequent as with a DJI, so I don't know what the reason is. I have a Mevo camera and that works without any problems. You can transfer the files really quickly. So I guess the drone manufacturers don't have this worked out yet. But writing on one of the groups for a possible solution, they recommended a cable like this. I was trying to search on some other DJI groups and on YouTube videos for a best solution. And most solutions says, open this up, take the SD card out, pop it into a computer, and you'll transfer the files in no time. Well, maybe that's a good solution, but not when you're on the road. And we only take a cell phone with you. If you're going someplace to do more wild regions, you can always charge the cell phone from a solar battery, which would be quite a bit of a problem if you were logging around a laptop with you. Much more you would need to carry. So, why doesn't this work as it's designed to? No idea. But trying the OTG cable from a remote control, it worked wonders. When I had transfers before at something like 50 to 700 kilo per second, now connecting it with a cable, it was more like 2500. So great improvement and not a single broken connection. Transfer went really nicely. As you've already seen in the beginning of the movie, that was transferred from a cable. So definitely worth a shot getting a cable like this. You can probably buy them anywhere locally, but of course, I'll throw a link below for AliExpress where you can get them much cheaper, shipping included. I also thought that maybe you can connect this cable directly to the drone, but unfortunately not with an iPhone. A friend of mine told me it does work with Android phones, but of course Apple knows better what we can and cannot connect to our cell phones. And The phone does vibrate when you connect the cable, so it does recognize something was hooked up. But unfortunately, you don't have an application which will then allow you to transfer the files from the drone to the phone memory. I was trying to check out two applications, but apparently you need their hardware to service the SD cards. I also have a SD card to phone cable for transferring files ordered from AliExpress. So when that comes, I'll see if that software allow for a transfer. But for now, you have to go with connecting this to the remote control. But it does work wonders. So that's it for today. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and see you again soon.